Many speculate that the street politics had a part to play in the now deadly beef. That's because NBA members have ties with one of the Bleeders' most hated rivals, the Vultures. Uh, now here's how the connections to NBA started. That is said to have intensified the bloodlust between the Bleeders and NBA. That was the moment Ben 10 got wet up and his cousin Marvin Batiste was murked in a drive-by. Uh, the vehicle had been shot multiple times, and inside the vehicle we located a male that had been uh, deceased from gunshot wounds. Ben 10 would also <laughs> post up a pic of himself and his cuzzo before also taking another shot at the bleeders by posting and taunting them, telling them to pull up, he's outside alone. There ain't no winners in the streets. Laugh at the ops now, but then ops will be laughing right back in no time. And their time came February 25th, 2022, when the face of the bleeders and his partner was caught lacking and murked. April 14th, what? 2022, detectives held a press conference saying they made an arrest in connection with the drive-by that murked True Bleeder and Cliff. These exotic boys, smoke exotic ops. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic glocks. Tied to pull up real fast, uh, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guac. What up, Moolah gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. And I'm back with another video. Y'all know how we rocking in this bitch, man. Stop stocking in this bitch, man. Don't be looking at me like that, fool. Nah, let me start talking. What y'all out? The hope everybody decent. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe to the rest of my channel. The link's in the description right now. Shout my call the line off for them gray. It's busting in the description right now. My mentorship is also in that description, man. So tap into that too if you want to learn how to get that mum 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 money. Cause I'm showing you how to get that mum 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 money. No cap. This is real life. Shit. So stop playing. Stop tweaking. Stop saying you're going to do it and then not doing it. Tap into the mentorship and tap into that one-on-one -on -one help so I can show you how to get this money on. Don't fuck now. Hey, man, my nigga f*** with them bleeders, man. We ain't getting no. Like, real real, man. Hey. I bleed this nigga, R.P. R.P. I don't know who these niggas is. Bleeder. His dumb oh, just grabbed, almost like grabbed him. I'm a f***ing nigga know where I'm at, though. I'm a Ben 10 and True Bleeder ran into each other on Clubhouse. Locked off three lanes of I-10 near Highway 73 for several hours after they discovered uh -oh. a man shot to death inside a pickup truck. Who got blinked in the pickup had truck? Multiple times, and inside the vehicle we located a male that had been uh, deceased. Multiple shots were fired in a restaurant parking lot right in front of the Mall of Louisiana. Baton Rouge police mm. say this shooting was intentional. Baton Rouge. Police found a car with four victims. Two and two taken to the hospital. Two on my make it. Hey, <laughs> but if you I ain't gonna lie, that wasn't a good look, folks. Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah Membership. The Moolah Membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily, for you to understand these different categories. We are talking about business, financial literacy, credit, Crypto, we talking about stocks, we talking about Amazon, we talking about dropshipping, we talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're going to get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're going to get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock, 24-7, to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call-outs. That means all you got to do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make some of the all this bread. Very simple, very easy. On am okay, stop waiting. Stop procrastinating. Click the first link in the description right now, especially if you want to be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you want to put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots, and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. I don't know if your homie had just died or something, shorty. Don't pull out the live and cry like that, fool. And, and, and whoever posted this shit, talking about look at this nigga, if that's why he crying, shorty, that's some Cause nigga, I promise you, if you his op, you got dead homies too, bro. So I don't know why niggas be. I don't know. We cannot go out like the mother boys, bro. And the nigga been knowing you since school, bro. Nigga, no, bro. You ain't like that, bro. You ain't like that, brother. So you gotta stop, like. Hey, yo, squad. 
what's the drill? Back with another video, man. Baton Rouge has become a hub for promising rappers, with one of the most iconic out the city being the big slime NBA young boy and his NBA crew. But new players have been emerging to claim their shared success and fame. It's talents out the city, like the crew calling themselves the Bleeders. The problem is, all these rappers are allegedly tied to the streets. Mm. So with the rise in fame, fallouts between childhood Bleeders. friends, between camp donkeys, the like the and with the rise in fame, real donkey childhood. What the Going between on? camps began getting out of hand this track started getting thrown and blood has been running in the streets just who are the bleeders and how did the nba crew become some of their most hated ops mm. we're gonna find out so without further ado let's skip the play play and get down to business the bleeders aren't a big I, group I, I mean the I gang know. is said to be feared in the streets of baton rouge where mm. they call home mm. their sets include prominent members like the one who put the bleeders on the map true bleeder his brother, co-bleeder, co his bleeder. cousin, real bleeder, and 5-4 Don Dada. The group was formed by OG members Dante Dorsey, a.k.a. True Bleeder, and real bleeder. Okay. Talking in front of a store one day about reminiscing on the pain and loss felt in the streets. Real Bleeder was the one who came up with the name True Bleeders because of the depth of the losses and experiences they overcame in the streets. It represented mm. their deep ties and bonds coming yeah. in chasing a better way. Sorry. Dante Dorsey jumped in the rap game and put the name True Bleeders on his back, taking them into the spotlight before his op slid on him and his partners, causing Real Bleeder to take up the torch. We in the hood, like, mind you, my other cousin, his brother, he 15. Mm. And our partner, he 14, like, so we came up with that 15, 14, so, like, we just in front of the stove. I'm like, we gonna be True Bleeders. I just be thinking, like, a lot of shit, because, like, this be meaning a lot. So I'm like, we're gonna be true bleeder. You hear me? Their origins go deeper. <laughs> you hear me? I just wanted to give you some background information so you understand these dudes saw real things and experienced real pain and loss at a young age. Right. So their beefs ain't no wax on, wax off. It's up right. for real. And with a crew like NBA and them, you know the real. boys on that type of time too, given YB mindset and history. But the thing is, how did the bleeders and the NBA start beefing? Right. Because even Cole Bleeder in an interview out. said him and NBA Ben 10 was boys as kids. Mm. Damn word. Like growing up type shit. Many speculate that the street politics had a part to play in the now deadly beef. That's because NBA members have ties with one of the bleeders' most hated rivals, the Vultures. Uh, now here's how the connections to NBA started. Turns out YB's little bro B Way Youngie is a member of the Goblin Gang, aka Six the Crew. Okay. A fraction of the Vultures, while P Youngin, okay. who was signed to YB label, is also affiliated with the Vultures. With the Vultures. NBA Ben 10 is allegedly family with some Vulture members and is known to be cool with B Way Youngie. Right. So there's the Bleeders who is beefing with the Vultures and the Vultures who has ties with NBA and cool them. NBA, Knowing right. the streets, anything could have caused the beef to trickle down to NBA. Hell, even just an affiliation to their ops. The bleeders could have taken shots at NBA and really be like that sometimes. Yeah, but one sure. particular incident is highlighted a lot that is said to have intensified the bloodlust between the bleeders and NBA. That was the moment Ben 10 got wet up and his cousin Marvin Batiste was murked in a drive-by. Reports state that on December 2nd, 2021, around 11.30 p.m., deputies were called to a scene in a truck not moving in the middle of the I-10 westbound near Prairieville. The vehicle had been shot up multiple times and inside the vehicle was a male who had been deceased from gunshot wounds and the driver who was also injured but was taken to the hospital and survived. Right. This was later found out to be the drive-by involving Marvin Batiste and NBA Ben 10. Around uh, 11.30 last night, Ascension Parish deputies they were called said, so to ben this scene got shot a truck he was not shooting. moving in the middle of I-10 westbound near Prairieville. Uh, the vehicle had been shot multiple times, and inside the vehicle we located a male that had been uh, deceased from gunshot wounds. That man was Who found died, on the though? passenger side of the truck. Authorities say the driver was also taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds. He's expected to survive. Of course dudes can't wait to throw fuel to the fire. The bleeders wasted no time mentioning Ben 10 and making fun of his cousin in the highly disrespectful oh, ben 10 track. Cousin, so Ben 10 cousin died. With Cole Bleeder, 40 Glock U. 1514 and, and Ruga Rudy and right. his bars 40 Glock you rapped Cold heard bleeder. a ninja stepped on Ish but they was trying to step on Ben he felt that fire after round and shut down I-10 you know once dudes fall in mans get dissed then it's set oh, yeah, it's already over with now here it goes the bleeders it's didn't care and can't mention the names directed to NBA in them but I, sure. I want to wonder like did they did they did they feel like this was 
a opportunity to get him to be into it with the biggest group in the city? Is that could that have been what was going on, folks? Because I don't really, I, when shit like this be going on, I don't really be seeing no real reason to really beef with no nigga. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm into it with some niggas, and we, me and you cool, and you cool with some niggas who, y'all got ties, like, your family is some niggas. I'm, like, I don't give a damn. You get what I'm saying? I know I got to keep you at a distance, and if I feel like I got to stop with you and cut ties with you because you cool with, you too cool with my ops, niggas that's trying to kill me all the time. Then okay, cool. I I stop with you, but that we don't have to beef now because you got. I found out your cousin is this nigga who I'm into it with. Like you get what I'm saying? What is it? What reason is it? What reason do we have to turn the beef so deadly over that? Shit? So when niggas be when 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 I hear shit like that, when I hear niggas into it over reasons like that, I be like, man, it's probably some deeper shit going on. It's usually some other shit going on that maybe a motherfucker trying to. Pull away, get like take your take your attention off of. They really might just be wanting to beef with NBA because they know it's gonna turn them up. Type shit, which I mean, you know. Ben Ten heard the noise and responded Wouldn't with a video false. to IG, basically bragging about Merck and his cousin ain't a flex because he wasn't about that life or into anything and they ain't really built like that because they know where he's at but won't pull up. Hmm. Hey, my cousin was a football player. He ain't can again. No matter who even like this for real. He know how to fight, that's it. Never shot nobody, never popped nobody, never did no gangsta shit. Right. Man, you ain't never seen no real, 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 yeah. I'm a nigga's head hunters. That was my cousin. Come on, man. I'm just getting tired of this nigga. Before ending his message, he sent back a shot to the ops saying what they need to do is post up their dead mans instead of worrying about his peoples. We ain't thinking shit. You wanna post your people. We post ours and we don't live them. Post yours, nigga. Ben 10 would also <laughs> post up a pic of himself and his cuzzo before also taking another shot at the bleeders by posting and taunting them, telling them to pull up, he's outside alone. The bleeders was now on NBA's radar and vice versa. Both crews had hot heads and they would clash on social media in a heated argument. Ben 10 and True Bleeder was going at it on Clubhouse with True Bleeder telling Ben 10 he not like that for real and he's just pretending to be about the gangster lifestyle he talk about. See, and that's I don't like what nobody ever say. Don't tell no nigga what he like and what he don't like, what he not like. Like niggas always say that. Oh, I knew this nigga in high school. He not like that. What the fuck that mean? I knew a lot of niggas in high school that might have. You might have been a nigga in high school, and a nigga might have tried to kill you two days after you graduated, and now and you go turn around and smack some, smoke some. He still, he still not like that, bro. Like you don't know what a nigga like for real, gang. You don't live this nigga life. No matter how close y'all was ever in history, you don't know what this nigga on right now. You don't know if he on that shit right now. Anybody could do this. It's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? If we if we if we fight and we get down, it's gonna be who fight better, who bigger, who stronger, who better, who you know what I'm saying? Who dies better shit like that. Anybody could do this, bro. You don't have to be quote unquote like that. Even if a nigga is pretending, okay, he got a gun, he can swing that bitch too. He ain't gonna be pretending when that hot shit on the way to your you hear me? So you can't tell. I don't give a who a nigga is. You can't tell no nigga. He not like that. Like, don't ever underestimate no nigga. Like, that's not smart at all. Sure. I ain't tell nobody. I'm stop talking like that, then. I'm a whole. I'm a whole. The bleeders wasn't backing down with disrespecting the deceased and dropped the diss track. Pick your partner up. On January 13th, 2022, and them boys was wildin' on that track. Strapped up to talk reckless in the music video, they came to disrespect, and that's exactly what they did. The bleeders would soon learn ain't no winners in the streets. Laugh at the ops now, but then ops will be laughing right back in no time. And their time came February 25th, 2022, when the face of the bleeders and his partner was caught lacking and murked. True Bleeder was in the mall of Louisiana with Bleeder's affiliate, Cliff. Cold Bleeder and 54 Don Dada when the ops got on their trail and was lurking. They took pics with some females, not sure if they were nah, companions or fans. The pics were posted online, could have been before the hit or after the hit. Right. Little did they know those pics would be the last True Bleeder and Cliff. Oh, shit. Cold Bleeder. Somebody was on that. And he told True Bleeder that they need to get out the mall. They've been in there too long, but they didn't heed his advice. When they were finally leaving in their whip, a car pulled up and started blasting, causing them to run into a pole. True Bleeder wasn't going down just like that and hopped out the whip. 
while Nicky. all that was happening and bust back at the ops. Sadly, him and Cliff didn't make it. Hopped out and started blicking, though. Up too, cause the true bleeder busting back. Hopped so out and started blicking, though. They vehicle at the scene and dipped in another getaway car. Hopped out and started blicking, though. I respect that. Rest in peace to him. I didn't even know this nigga died. I heard about this beef. I swear to God, I didn't even know this nigga died, bro. I swear to God. But he hopped back out blicking. I ain't going out like that, nigga. I'm going to try. And I got to respect that shit at all times, shorty, whether you went out or not. You got to respect that, boy. Motherfucker ain't finna just sit here and get took shots. No. I'm going to hop out. I hop out, get the busing before I let myself. Come on, man. Up okay. to the scene, they found True Bleeder and Cliff passed away, and Cole Bleeder and 54 Don Dada was injured. Apparently, this other group was here at the mall, and we believe that other faction saw them here. And then when they saw them leaving, that's when they took action in an attempt uh, to, to shoot at them. Police found a car with four two dead and two taken to the hospital. There are a total of three cars involved. Two of the cars were left covered in bullet holes. McNeely says the suspects got away in a getaway car. Another getaway car. Right? So that the mean they hopped to, they had two cars ready. See, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you some real shit though. When you in the streets, bro, you can't do that shit. And, then, and, and, and I swear to God, I, I know the first nigga, some, some first thing a nigga say, boy, I ain't, no, I ain't scary, I ain't hiding, I'm out here. You would be. That's what get niggas killed though, bro. Ain't about being scared, it's about being smart, gang. If you in the streets, you know niggas trying to kill you. You know, nigga, you know, you know this. You know y'all really talking about beef. Y'all really talking about death. Y'all really talking about bodies dropping. Y'all really doing this shit for real. Y'all really outside regardless if you playing or not. It don't matter. You don't know if the other side playing. So whether you playing or not, don't do it. has nothing to do with shit. You don't know if the other side playing. So you can't be in no mall just lollygagging, taking pictures. No, nigga. No, I don't give a if it's six of y'all, ten of y'all, it need to be. If, if it ain't a hundred of y'all niggas walking through that mall, shorty, you need to just go on about your business, folks. You know what I'm saying? Come to the mall at nine o'clock in the morning. Nobody is there. Ten o'clock in the morning when they first open. It's seven people there. They all old people. These niggas show ain't there. You hear me? Especially in these small towns you in. It's one mall throughout this whole you dig. And y'all niggas, come on, gang. You can't do that. You can't. You can't go to parties like that if you in the streets. You can't be at the club if you in the streets. You can't be lollygagging and walking through the mall if you in the streets. It's certain places you can't go. Public big places like that, you cannot go, bro. You can't even be at the gas station for too long. Pull up, pull up, nigga. Look around real quick. Make sure you on your shit. Pump your gas, hop back in the car, lock the door. When your shit get on, pop it, put it back in there. And, you, know, you can't even be at McDonald's drive through for too long. You hear me? That's the real shit. You got to go sit down. Let's go sit down at TGI Fridays. Go drive 45 minutes up the road to the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? You got to take precautions like that. It ain't about being scary, gang. Leaders leaving co-bleeder and 5-4 Don Dada with emotional and physical wounds from the hit that they luckily oh, survived. So this the leaders were going hit. through it. And some, like 5-4 Don Dada, broke down online crying for his slain homies. And pledging to take that's revenge why he was on crying the ops. like that. But you know the ops like nothing better than to laugh at a brother's pain. Yeah. So that's exactly what they reposted and did. That boy turned into a baby, nigga. You not know Don Dada, you a crybaby. See, this this the type of shit I don't like when niggas do. Cause you not finna sit and act like you ain't been like that off camera about your homies. I don't give a damn what you talking about right now, gang. The toughest, roughest, savagest killer. Gonna break down when his homie get killed. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You hear me? So I don't. This is goofy. You posting a nigga, shit, reposting a nigga. Y'all already scored. Take y'all win and get the hell on, boy. But you see that nigga face. You think he not gonna put no pressure on y'all because of that shit? You think he not ready to crash out right now? You just soaking it up, mo. Lame as shit, boy. I don't like niggas like that, boy. Who try to kick a nigga when they down like they ain't never been down before? It is cool if you want to laugh. This nigga crying. What the f***? That's crazy. And keep scrolling. But for you to go out your way and do all that sh No, shorty. No. <laughs> NBA and them didn't hold back to get their chuckles in. Ben 10, the one who True Bleeder disrespected on Clubhouse, posted trolling the Bleeders, listening to True Bleeder song Soul Survivor. But he didn't stop there. Ben 10 went to the mall and posted a video making jokes of the bleeders hit, saying he ain't going out like them boys. We cannot go out like them other boys. Oh, three deep, you hear me? So I sent 
nail three some shoes. You got that? No, no, uh, no. I got Tay with me, cause I can't go out like the other boys. B.U.A. Youngie would post to his IG laughing at True Bleeder getting murked. NBA Herm got his jabs in too with lyrics on the song Soul Snatcher where he took aim at 5'4 Don Dada crying over True Bleeder and said that they were laughing at their dead homie so it's their turn now. But Herm went on to say something that made it seem like the hit was from NBA with the lyrics. Dropped a couple dollars, young and flushed them with the chopper. Mm. This was NBA's camp get back for all the disrespect from the bleeders dissing their mans. P. Youngin and his bro Rico Taliban got online sending shots directly to the bleeders. I bleed this shit, nigga. All right, all right P. Bleed them. P. Youngin will continue coming for their top. Dropping snippets referencing the true bleeder hit and dissing his other partners. Bleeder affiliate TG Commas popped on IG to address P. Youngin, saying he really rocked with his music and they grew up together. So why is he dissing his dead mans? I don't even know that nigga P.Y., man. That's my little brother, man. I grew up well with that little dude, bro. That's my little partner, man. Yeah. I don't even know why y'all... This shit just be goofy. Like, go do something else, bro. The nigga already got... That's all I be saying. The nigga got whack. You on here telling on yourself. Y'all tell it on yourself. 99% of y'all niggas don't even know what the f*** happened, who happened, what happened, when it happened, why it happened. Don't know these niggas from a can of paint. But niggas want to get on Instagram. This is why I be calling, that's why I be calling niggas, like, bro, that's d*** riding. Like, if, because I feel like you only dissing him, if you didn't know that nigga, you only dissing him because you want to look cool to young boy. You want to be like, look, look, young boy, I'm with the, I'm with the shit too. Look, accept me, be my friend. Oh my God. That is kind of weird, bro. With all this, dude, like, P. Youngin wasn't trying to hear all that and responded with the utmost disrespect. Nigga, full of my niggas be so dope. Niggas be full of pills, don't be knowing what they even talking about. Niggas, dope, man. I'm really out. I don't do that Instagram. Yes, you do, bro. Yes, you do do the Insta. I hate when they can say, yes, you do do the Instagram. You doing the Instagram right now. The whole reason he responded is because you did the Instagram first. What are you talking about? You do do the Instagram. Nigga, you mad about your people. Go dig that up. Um, yeah. Both sides was going back and forth and it wouldn't stop. Real so Bleeder in a Say Cheese interview said at age 18, he got a 130K bag when his mom's passed away and blew it with the Bleeders. Mama had died, you hear me? So they gave me a check when I was 18. A six-figure check. They had gave me some shit. I blew that shit with my, with my people, bro. With my Stupid. brothers and them and shit. Like, Stupid. Bleeder and Cliff long live my brothers. We blew the like. So 18, you turn 18 years old. That ain't cool. That ain't... These niggas is stu that's stupid. I might have been dumb as at 18 too. I'm I'm dumb. I'm 25, but I'm still dumb. You feel me? But at 18, gang, I at least knew. I knew that if I got a lot of money, I knew not to blow it, folks. I knew not to blow it, and I might I might save too much, but that's better than blowing it because I can't go get that shit back. You talking about some you? He like it's like he bragging about it, like. Yeah, I'm that nigga. I blew 130,000. You didn't even, that ain't even, it wasn't even your money for real. Blew 130 hey, grand. Hey, how much was the check, if you don't mind me asking? It was 130 grand, bro. Ben 10 would drop a track referencing the interview saying real bleeding in them ain't out there for real and they yeah, came up off right. his mom's who in the ground. Not only that, but he took aim at co bleeder too, who said him and Ben 10 was boys growing up. Co bleeder would respond calling out NBA for being broke. And being druggies, putting out whack music. Then my last thing on my mama, then my last thing I'ma say, my nigga, you niggas be 20 plus years old and don't got a five piece of your name, a 10 piece of your name, a 20 piece of your name. A third piece of your name. In April 14, 2022, detectives held a press conference saying they made an arrest in connection with the drive-by that murked True Bleeder and Cliff. 
The person held was 21-year-old Demetrion Grimm, a.k.a. Dubug, who has ties to the Vultures. He oh, was charged Vultures. with two counts of first-degree hit, two counts of attempted first-degree hit, and unlawful use of a weapon. Yeah. And through the hard work of... Back so it, it wasn't NBA, it was the Vultures, but the NBA is cool with the Vultures, so you don't know where it came from type shit. Detectives and the help of our community, we made an arrest today. Today, Demetrion Grimm was arrested and charged with two counts of first to two counts of attempted first to and one count legal use of a weapon. Reports state that Grimm was in East Baton Rouge Paris prison prior to the mm. arrest for a non-related charge. Oh, so he was already in prison? Is there anything you would like to say to your family, to the victim's family? You'll be spending Easter in jail. Was it worth it? <laughs> However, in August 2022, <gasps> what? reports state that jurors decided that was not enough proof to formally charge Grimm for that double homicide outside the mall of Louisiana. Right. But stated that prosecutors will likely bring the case back before a grand jury once they review the evidence. Mm. It would be over a year after True Believers hit that authorities would apprehend another person in the homicide. April 11th, 2023, Another reports nigger. state that two Baton Rouge men were arrested after Texas law enforcement found them smuggling several undocumented immigrants near the U.S.-Mexican border. Dang, one of whom believe played a role in a drive-by that murked two teenagers outside the mall of Louisiana. Uh. Authorities identified the driver as 26-year-old Donald Ray Graves and the passenger as Najoa Jabari Harris, 25, both from Baton Rouge. Police believe Gray's bought a car, a white 2005 Honda Accord on February 24, 2022, which was used in the hit the next day and abandoned at the scene on Blue Bonnet Boulevard with the hitters jumping into a getaway car that had been following them. The bleeders have both caused ops to bleed and have been bleeding themselves. They have the talent to make it big in the music industry, but like all the other street rappers before and after them, they seem to keep tossing it away in beefs that don't benefit anybody. Losing their members saying. to the streets in jail. I don't understand why niggas think this shit is so like, nigga, nigga, this, this, it don't benefit nobody. Who's getting money off this shit? Who? Who get money? Who getting paid? Who is elevating their life? But niggas be so slow that they don't want to get, they don't want to go crazy. They don't want to go forward with life. They want to sit and do a bunch of dumb shit all day. Rest in peace to whoever lost their life, though, on Funeral Grave.